She's back. That being Kyo Resu, a YouTube singer who had been Riro Ron with the Idol VTuber Agency until her termination from that company three months ago. Her Twitter account being locked down and YouTube account deleted. Kyo Resu returning to her original YouTube channel to release a brand new cover song of Internet Overdose. A very on-brand song choice and also very timely as not only does TBS have a more complete transcript now of the three and a half hour stream that led to her termination from Idol, but this also all occurring as Idol EN member Yuko Yure has returned, having effectively been on hiatus for the last two months and now stating that she is changing her content, moving away from girlfriend experience videos, having upon her return deleting numerous membership videos, leaving only 11 available of an original 40 three membership videos. And now diving in once again to that three and a half hour stream that led to Rira Ron's termination. This membership stream entitled No Dusting November, playing off No Nut November, wherein Rira Ron would challenge her membership viewers not to touch themselves, as then she performed acts like licking on a banana for minutes on end, and then sucking on a milk bottle for minutes on end. The stream taking a further turn where Rira would say, kinda wanna get silly with you. I wonder how hard it will get and how hard you'll get. I want to do something a little bit crazy. I probably cannot do this, but if I don't say it, it's fine, right? You'll have to use your imagination. Even though you don't know what I'm doing, I'm still embarrassed. And further saying, right now I'm doing something specific. It's embarrassing. And then asking her members, what do you think I'm doing? I'm just curious. We can then hear a watery substance draining into something. Riro saying this liquid is being mixed into a baby bottle. Then saying that she'll take a little sip if the viewer tells her that they love her once again. Riro then taking a drink and saying it's warm, it's weird, and it's mixed with water so that the flavor is not as intense. Reminding her of the taste of cornflakes and saying it's not bad. Then asking the members if they want to try it. Saying you'll have a part of me inside you just like when I drink your milk. Isn't that sweet? I'd like you to try the Riro Nade. This confirming that the entire time this watery substance is her own urine. Riro saying further, just so that you have a little bit of me inside of you. You definitely would, wouldn't you? We were then repeating I love you a dozen times and further stating I still want to try to make you lose. Going on to ask the viewers if they've ever tried their selves and to be honest, where then Riro would further ask and also their white thingy. Did you ever try your white thingy? Did you try your dust? Did you like it? You can be honest. The stream then moves into the previously reported section, where in Riro says that she'll take another part of a silly pill, that being a sleeping pill, and then asking her members, would you like to meet me and perhaps even try me? Or it could be a date or a walk in the park, a nice evening together. Do you think it's a crazy idea? Do you think I am insane? This coming after Riro had typed out these harem requirements. He's laying out potential plans to meet her IRL. Stating further, sometimes she craves something like this, along with I love you, I love you. If you want to come visit me, you can kind of plan it out. And further stating, I wonder if I'm the only girl from Idol that can pull off something like this. This VTuber then stating, I'm crazy over and over again. And then continuing on saying, you know how some of you send me your tributes. What if I met with somebody with my harem and they did a tribute in front of me? A tribute of not Riro while I'm looking. In front or on could be both. You would have to dust and then splash. How would that make you feel? Would that make you excited? Or would that make you shy? That would be so cute. At this point in the stream, management directly messaging Riro and leading her to take off that hot message of $250 and I take silly pill. Riro, after saying, I think I'm crazy, I am screwed, and my ideas are unacceptable. If only stuff like this was possible, it's not, unfortunately, even just fantasizing is fun. This termination with an idol also leading to the firing of a talent manager, as now we properly return back to Yuko. Yesterday holding an announcement and talking about the changes to her content. Not only not only is Yuko Yue back, but Yuko Yue is back in full swing, meaning that I would like to dwell into more forms, more more forms of content, and explore a bit a bit more broadly in 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 terms of broadening my content and what kind of shift that I want to do. That includes obviously I want to get. I want to get out there more. I want to do more collaborations. I want to focus hard on creation. In terms of new content that Yuko Yurei wants to delve into, that includes 
vlogging. Touching grass. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, that includes camping, camping videos, hiking videos, fishing, hunting, and exploring the outdoors, traveling at a point of time. At a point of time? At a point in time. At a time and point during my streaming career. I'll be honest. I faced burnout. I kind of shut down my activity in streaming and my activity in posting on social media. Just kind of kaboot. And after a while, a long time of thinking, I realized that I want to change the direction of my content and I want to do more of what enjoy what I what excites me, what gives me that adrenaline. But that also means that I will be stepping back from content that I do that I have done previously. What what that means is that uh, a big a big part of my membership content at the moment doesn't represent what I want to what this change what I want this change to be. So I will be removing the content in my membership that does not pertain to the content change that I am doing. But because of that, new member new memberships. I don't want to confuse anybody. I don't want to give the wrong idea of what my content is. So that is why they will be removed. I hope you all understand. And there's such great content in there. Such great content. I put my heart into it. I, I put my heart into that. And that content, as as much as it is sad to see it go, I fucking love that. I'm downloading it for myself. <laughs> I'm, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, Yuko then premiering a touching grass video, this vlog being IRL content, wherein then numerous membership streams were removed. Once again, leaving only 11 of an original 43. Many of these membership streams being girlfriend experience streams and ASMR streams, along with numerous membership posts also being removed. And this leading to Backlash. This account originally called I Love Yuko Yure, now retitling itself to Yuko Yure is a bad person. In her bio saying, abandoning this account, got lied to and abused for over a year by this terrible human being. She emotionally manipulated her community for clout. Other views from adjacent fandoms like this one saying, I don't know what to say to the boo bros, that being Yuko's fans, that are broken right now. It's a harsh reality of life that shows just how important boundaries are when it comes to what you say to your audience. There are a lot of lonely people who went on a wild ride that could have been handled better. Best I can do is hug you and tell you everything will be okay, keep your head up, and keep moving. Let her move on too. Thinking about yourself is number one. Yuko so far only seeing an increase in subscribers from this change in content. And after taking to Twitter to say, holy, thank you all for your continued support. And I'm so, so excited to start this new chapter of content creation. I was a little nervous at first, but it made me so happy, happy to see the response about my change in direction. Here's some more fun and entertaining content for the future. As for the Donathon goals, I will continue working towards them in member streams and talk about it more from there. Nanimo Navi with AN Project saying welcome back Yuko if you're happy the people who matter will be happy as well really glad to see you back and making the content that makes you happy and fulfilled you deserve it Idol Yen's Kai Saikota remarking welcome back senpai girl DM here with a welcome back and Brie also replying saying I'm happy you're back that is today we have more from Idol saying head on over to the Idol shop to grab yourself all of our brand new Valentine's goods including voice experiences from some of your favorite Idol talents digital wallpapers and more Valentine's merchandise goes off sale February 28th. Idolian's Juna Yunagi remarking, please buy my merch so I can spoil my puppy, Lamau. As also with that agency, we have Roka Rauran. Rocka now premiering yet another cover song, this being for a piano version of Ghost by Hoshimashi Suisei of Hall Live Japan. And now continuing her Idol Gyaru series. That new addition being the swaggy dragon god Kai. You're saying I'm so excited with how this came out. I feel Roka did such a good job. That really suits me so much. Thank you so much. This dragon god also being caught cheating on one of her idol wives with yet another one of her idol wives while also giving us important messages like balls and dear internet, light mode rocks, I don't care. Love, Kai Saikota. Kai also being seen front and center here. This being a cover song of My Secret by Idol E and Endless, the second gen of Idol, whose fan mascots have now been appropriately made into cute girls by Tensus. Tensus further giving us these renditions, that being of the Poco 
Rainbow Raccoon fandom. The Steve Raccoon recently celebrating her birthday, kicking off a merch drop available until March 2nd, including this highly elaborate t-shirt produced and designed by Poco. As having also recently celebrated their birthday was Idol EN's Ren Penrose. This royal prince receiving this artwork from Ren's Kingdom, with Ren's birthday merchandise recently going off sale, and Idol alerting fans for those who purchased Ren Penrose birthday merchandise earlier this week, some digital goods were not properly sent to some customers. We will be sending the goods to those affected shortly from this address, support at bravegroup.co.jp. That's once again, Brave Group and Idol have teamed up, most especially in regards to their merchandise. Merchandise like that Valentine's digital merch drop for 2024, Ren promoting it here, saying, give me $10. While also launching a second original song, this being the Splatoon-themed Brand New Wave. Also with Idol, we have Katarina Cutie. Guns a blazing here and saying happy Valentine's Day, love you, while also giving us important messages like I miss Plap World. Alongside, Nikki Ray from Idol is using Discord Light Mode, WTF. Nikki replying, you broke the first rule of Mafia, snitches end up in ditches. Katarina replying, shut up, you can't even see anything because your screen is so bright. As the heretical Light Mode user Kai would simply reply with base, base, based. And lastly from Idol, we also have more on their upcoming Spanish-speaking branch, now launching the Idol ES Discord server, saying this is where you can meet other fans and find out about Idol news in the future. As now, it's time to pick up even more coffee from the Phase Connect official shop. That, of course, ran by Phase Connect's CEO, Sakuna. Fishman playing gotcha games and saying, need more diamonds, need more coffee sales. As we have the Phase Connect Valentine's Day 2024 merch drop, featuring three themes, Maid Cafe, Bunny Girls, and Sleepover, alongside a body pillow rerun, but only for two weeks. Pippa Pipkin saying bye 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 while also offering up this ASMR. Bye everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, oh. Goodbye everybody. Oh. Wow. The ASMR. Goodbye. That being alongside Hikanari Hina, now releasing her very own cover of Down by the River from Baldur's Gate 3. And that's not all from Face Connect, as we also have Dizzy Dokuro. This deep sea invader making a very valid point, saying of Twitter.com, they should have never removed the character limit on this site. Alongside also claiming that she is the 86th cub, that being a cub of the Seiso Blue Bear of Face Connect, Fujikura Uruka, sharing pre planning for the Valentine's collab, she had so much hope. Dizzy wondering if Uruka was going on a date. Uruka replying, do you think I have a date? I wish I have class. Uruka's Valentine's date stream receiving this reply of LOL, why thumbnail looks so girly. Uruka replying, have you considered that maybe, just maybe, I am a girl? This apparently being a surprise to herself from time to time as just this morning she would tweet out, genuinely, I just walked past the mirror after putting on a form-fitting shirt and got jump scared by my own boobs. Next up we have Komachi Panko, the punk. Known to expertly play the flute with her nose, wishing you a happy Valentine's Day here, and remarking, stop, I don't want to eat pineapple pizza. That being a stretch goal for 50,000 YouTube subscribers, Face Connect's Amanagawa Shino remarking, make Ponko eat my favorite pizza. And with Ponko now hitting that milestone, promising pineapple pizza next week. The CEO of Fishman, Sakuna, also remarking that he likes pineapple pizza. And for the third or fourth time this week, this leading to one of his own talents, cancer him. Ponko also remarking, EU Chads, it's your time to shine. Face Connect in Europe for the first time. That being for the UK VTuber convention, Vexpo, announcing Face Connect as an official partner. And leading us now over to the AN Project, also announcing their partnership with Vexpo. This convention is set to be held in August of 2024, as AN would go on to release Valentine's Day keychains, this time with a sweet maid cafe theme. One of those keychains being of Kilia Kurayami, offering up numerous Valentine cards, and also demanding look at my abs. This work from Jo at Jovoa. Kelia also remarking answer my DMs, frog ass bitch. That of course referencing Zumi Takumi, the frog and toxic troublemaker of AN, providing her own Valentine's Day cards, alongside offering up these screenshots and asking what do you mean this isn't proper hand holding, turning her hair pink and stating I should have never smoked that shit, now I'm chibi doki. And lastly leaving viewers with this message, good night chat sweet dreams i might become an own a whole 
people collector after this. Okay, well, let's go ahead and now check in with the always say so and wholesome Mythos. Now debuting a brand new member, Apollo, who not only along with the debut premiered a brand new music video, but also her own rendition of Bling Bang Bang Born. Apollo also trying to convince others I'm the tallest member of Mythos, I promise, with Mythos further asking, why does every Mythos talent except Apollo have the worst profile pictures on Twitter? As now we turn to Sony Music Entertainment Japan's Prism Project, announcing that their 3D chibi models are now in production, alongside celebrating their third anniversary with the release of Acrylic Stand Charms, one of those charms being of Naki Kamazuki. V artist Alchi offering up this Naki looking cute as usual, real gothic Lolita hours, as Naki herself would celebrate Valentine's Day with a cover song drop of Love Cat. This as Naki would announce a break announcement, stating I do plan to return next month in March. However, due to circumstances, I'm not sure exactly when I can return, so I'd rather not make any empty promises. Stating, I will still be working on projects behind the scenes. I'm sorry if I made you worry due to my wording. While further with Prism Project, we have Shiki Miyashino wishing happy anniversary to Prism and saying of that acrylic stand charm release, please take me home with you and take me for walks. This V-Singer for Valentine's Day offering up a cover drop of Getcha alongside Caitlin Myers as the still on hiatus Araka Luto of Prism would remark, proof Shiki pads her booba. You all see how her curves look unnatural, almost as if she stuffs them unevenly. Shiki lovingly replying, did you know that Luto once had an erotic dream about Toad? While next with Prism Project, we have Kamishiro Rita launching a brand new outfit, showing off the reference here and saying excited to take a whole new stage with my new look. That will next up we have Production Kawaii, auctioning off handmade Valentine's cards to great success, and further teasing with this coming soon. That potentially being a new wave and giving us the dates of March 1st and 2nd. As also with Kawaii, we have Nene Amano sharing, I'm sad, I just found out my student loan wasn't forgiven. Thanks, government. And now I still owe a ton of money. Why, Supreme Court, why? And further tweeting, you don't understand, John Government, I have VTuber expenses to pay. Nene also tweeting out, let me cook, alongside posting up this unique Happy Valentine's Day artwork. Further along, we have Pixel Link, promising the launch of a made cafe, and then making this announcement due to an unexpected claim on the song's instrumentals. We have to do an unarchived live stream of the cover song before uploading the full music video onto our Twitter and X account. That being for the Pixel Link Bon Appetit cover, now officially releasing today. And further celebrating is Globy, saying roses are red, violets are blue, Globy's first generation has something special for you. Launching a Valentine's Day voice pack series, alongside offering up limited edition Valentine's letters, Reina Ronronia with this happy Valentine's or whatever, as further wallpapers of Kumanue Mel and Taring Hu were on hand. Oh, while we also had the bubble-headed idol otaku penguin Pippa Pebblesworth with her own Valentine's Day artwork and further sharing, I totally didn't go to a convention and proceeded to just play Pal World. Bringing us next over to 3 a.m. Sending out this new merch alert, that being for new standees and a pencil bag. This all while Meat had released brand new birthday merch, including a body pillow cover. 3 a.m.'s Koki also teasing her upcoming body pillow cover in both safe and not safe for work variants. All while we have Astraline's Lucius Merriweather offering up this new profile picture commissioned from his VTuber mama, Uni. Uni having also worked on Mary's model as also rigged here by Draca Knight. The skilled writer of Astraline remarking, why do people wash their rice just buy new rice? And further asking, did you enjoy the new lore? That being for Astraline's Elfielda, now debuting her dark Valkyrie model and dropping new merchandise alongside, including an Astraline lore visual novel. As that is all for this episode, as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord, as we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.